conduct an annual certification test on the Sapphire Infusion Pump using the Fast Test PM kit and software. The Fast Test PM is an intuitive and easy to use tool that allows you to independently and automatically complete the annual certification process on a Sapphire Infusion Pump within a few minutes. The test consists of a visual inspection and calibration verification process, which verifies delivery accuracy, air detection, and occlusion detection. At the end of the process, you will receive a manufacturer certificate that can be saved electronically or printed if needed. The first step is to install the software onto your computer. The software is available for you to download, along with all other Sapphire software tools on the FTP site. The access is limited to certified technicians only. Once you complete your training requirements, you will receive a username and password for the service portal, FTP site, and to the different Sapphire software tools. To learn more about how to access and use QCore's FTP site, watch the FTP overview video, which is part of the maintenance training presentation. Download the FastTest PM software from the FTP site and open the installer. Click Next to continue with the Setup Wizard. Read the Fast Test PM End User License Agreement and select the checkbox if the terms are accepted. Click Install to continue with the Setup Wizard. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. A dedicated Fast Test PM folder with the Fast Test PM software is created under C Qcore bin along with all other applications for use within the Sapphire Infusion Pump. Now that the software is installed, we need to configure and set up the testing stations. Open the FastTest PM software and log in using your PC tool credentials. The FastTest PM software allows you to perform up to eight certifications simultaneously on each PC. Separate kits will be required for each station. Each testing station will also require a Sapphire communication cable and power supply, both connected to a mini cradle fitted with a splitter. It is recommended to attach the mini cradle to an IV pole if available. A Sapphire bolus handle is also needed for the preliminary inspection. All stations need to be connected to a computer with internet access. An RS-232 USB to serial adapter is needed to connect the communication cable to the computer. Each adapter allows you to connect four pumps to a computer, so you will need two if you plan to test five to eight pumps simultaneously. To connect the pump to the computer, connect one end of the communication cable to the splitter and the other end to the RS-232 USB to serial adapter. Connect the adapter or adapters to the computer via the USB port. Note that some operating systems will require you to download the driver for the USB port. Please contact us to obtain the driver at service at qcore.com. Locate and click on Setup in the upper right corner. Select an available COM port for each station. The computer assigns COM numbers in ascending order for the ports on the RS-232 adapter from top to bottom. Confirm your selection by clicking OK. This configuration will be saved for the next use of the software. Open a Fast Test PM kit. Take out the administration set, the fluid bag, and the directions for use. The directions include a barcode that you will be required to scan. As each kit can be used for 30 tests, make sure to keep the directions for future use. Remove the cover from the administration set spike and insert the spike into the bottom of the bag. Make sure the anti-free flow valve is in the closed position and fill the bag with at least 100 milliliters of water. Close the cap and hang the bag on an IV pole. 
Adjust the bag height so that the bottom of the bag is 50 centimeters above the mini cradle. Secure the mini cradle onto the pole by tightening the pole clamp. After completing this setup for each station, we can start the certification process. Before mounting the pump onto the mini cradle, we need to perform a few preliminary tests on the pump. First, set the pump's authorization level to high. To do this, turn the pump on, and from the startup screen, select Options, Pump Configuration, General Settings, and then Authorization Level. From this menu, select High. The menu will close automatically. Press Next, and then OK. Now we will access the pump's test system menu to perform a functional inspection. From the startup screen, select Options. Then select Pump Configuration, followed by Test System. In this menu, toggle each test to check that each feature works. Open the cassette door to see that the door sensor status changes to opened, and close to see the status return to closed. To test the bolus handle, be sure to connect a working bolus handle directly to the pump and not to the splitter. Press the button on the bolus handle to see the status toggle between released to pressed. Next, perform a thorough visual inspection. Make sure there are no cracks on the pump housing, no scratches on the pump screen, and no loose parts and foreign objects. Verify the integrity of the door, the cassette chamber, the pumping mechanism, and the cassette locking mechanism. Check the power and communication connector for damage or dirt, and make sure that the four golden connectors on the back of the pump are not loose, broken, dirty, or corroded. We will now mount the pump onto the mini cradle. With the pump still turned on, position the pump on the mini cradle in an upright vertical position. Attach the administration cassette to the pump and close the door. The fast test PM software will recognize the pump and the station status will change to connected next to the station number. Double click on the station to initiate communication between the fast test PM software and the pump. The first window to appear is the preliminary inspection window. This is where we document the results of the preliminary tests. Fill in the results and press next. The kit selection window appears. The barcode can be found on the directions for use included in the fast test kit and on the fluid bag. The barcode has seven characters and can be typed in if no barcode scanner is available. Press check and if there are uses left on the kit, the start certification button will appear in the bottom right corner. The battery information presents a good opportunity to see when the battery needs to be replaced. If there is less than 90 days before the expiry date, the battery should be replaced after the certification is complete. Press Start Certification. Instructions and actions will now be displayed both on the pump and the Fast Test PM software to guide you through the process. Please follow the instructions and use the pump to navigate through the test. If you need help with certain instructions, clicking on the question mark icon will provide you with more information. On the test setup screen, verify that the station is set up properly. Once confirmed, press next on the pump to proceed to the prime step. The upstream segment of the fastest PM set needs to be primed before you start the accuracy and air detection test. 
The software will allow you to prime or to skip the step if the set is fully primed. Choose the relevant option as described on the screen. You can always refer to the question mark icon if you are not sure whether priming is needed. Inspect the set and verify it does not contain any air in the upstream segment. Now, let's complete the air and accuracy test. Press Next to proceed to the air detection and accuracy test. First, pull the plunger back to fill the syringe with air. Note that the plunger does not pull all the way back and is stopped about a third of the way out. Slowly push the plunger to insert all the air into the set. Press Start to begin the air detection and accuracy test. You will notice updated instructions on the software and pump screen when air detection and accuracy tests are completed. Use the pump and press Next to proceed to the occlusion detection test. To perform the occlusion test, clamp the set by pushing the clamp with your thumb until the clamp is in position. Press Start on the pump to initiate the test. You will notice updated instructions on the software and pump screen once the occlusion test is complete. Follow the instructions and unclamp the set. Press Next on the pump to complete the test. The occlusion sensor test is now completed. Press Next to proceed to the finish screen. On the computer, press Finish to view the results. After completing the test, you will receive a manufacturer certificate with the test results. This is the FastTest PM certificate. The certificate can be printed or saved as a PDF onto your computer. The certificate can also be found afterwards on QCore's service portal. After verifying that all tests have passed, close the results screen, Turn off the pump, detach the administration set, and remove it from the mini cradle. The certification is finished. This video covered the steps for completing an annual certification test on the Sapphire infusion pump using the FastTest PM software. For more information on the FastTest PM, please refer to the service manual or contact us at service at qcore.com.